Today, I'm gonna to show you how to transition through walls and underground for free using our free sample pack. What's up everyone, I'm Tyler Casey and we actually just dropped a new pack, the foreground transition pack. And if you haven't seen this effect, I've seen it in a lot of popular music videos and I definitely wanted to create a pack where you can actually do these effects but make them a lot easier to do. So you've seen these effects where basically the camera will go underground, you can see like different aspects, whether it's like gravel, dirt or you go through walls and you see sheetrock it's a really cool effect it kind of makes it feel like the camera can go anywhere so we have a free sample that includes a few assets where you can pull this effect off completely free i'm going to link it down below if you guys want to check out the free pack just add it to your cart but we also have the full pack i'm going to dive into that a little bit later so if you guys want to see that i'm going to have everything time stamped below so here's what comes in the sample pack if you guys just want to get the free sample pack um these folders are all the paid version we'll go into those a little bit later um, so here's a sample pack you get two assets and these are definitely some of my favorite assets right here so let's go ahead and play this this is transparent if you do not know so your video footage would go in here so let's go ahead and play that and we pass through this wall right here so we uh actually these are all 3d assets uh, let's go ahead and check out this one so this one goes down below the street so basically what we're going to do is we're going to overlay this on some footage and i'll show you how easy it is and then i'll also show you a quick little tip on how to add some motion blur and help sell this effect even more so let's grab some footage and get to it i'm just going to drag these two in here um, and we'll put them on the second layer until we find some footage. So for going underground, I have a pretty simple clip here and it's in slow motion. Um, so we don't want that, that's going the wrong way. So we, we wipe down and then it goes to there. So it already looks like it kind of works and we're actually going down into the ground. But the cool thing is, is we can actually go to speed clip duration and we can actually just speed up this last little bit and we can speed ramp it just a little bit to make it feel a little bit more real. Let's just move that forward a few frames. So then we need a clip that basically comes down. So that transitions down and then we wipe to the right. So I'm also gonna do some speed ramping here just to help speed these up a little bit. And then let's speed it up when we transition this way. And then we should easily be able to drag on this. So that's how easy it is, but there's also some ways that we can actually add motion blur. Let's So let's say this clip, since it's on a tripod, it doesn't really move that much. So what we're gonna wanna do is we're actually gonna wanna come over to effects and we're gonna drag on transform. And the reason we want transform is because it has motion blur. So we can actually uncheck this and change the shutter angle to 180. And then we're gonna wanna punch in just a little bit so we have some room to move. And this shot actually looks um, off center a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and fix that. Um, and then here, we're go what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna find the end. So we're gonna find a keyframe. We're gonna click position. And then as it moves, we're going to move our clip. We're gonna find the very edge of our clip. And then it's gonna add a little bit of it's gonna add some motion blur to make it look like it actually transitioned in if you did not move the clip yourself. If you do it in camera, it definitely can have a better look and actually make it look like your image is moving, but you can totally do this effect without having to. And we can even transition back underground. So let's say we're here, we're still zoomed in, and then let's say we want to go underground with this clip right here. So same thing, we're gonna create a keyframe at the beginning, and then we're gonna follow it all the way up, find the bottom of the clip right there, and then it should be gone. 
So another quick tip, uh, if these are moving the wrong way, you can easily flip them. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're just gonna wanna type in flip right here. And so for this vertical one, uh, if we wanted it to go the other way, easily just drag on vertical flip. And now we're going top to bottom, uh, as well as going left to right. These are all going the right way, but let's delete those wires easily transition through the wall the other way. So if you need to manipulate the assets to work with your footage, horizontal flip and vertical flip will work perfectly. If you plan for this in camera, it can definitely look better, but it definitely works on any type of tripod shot. Uh, I think underground works the best because we have some road in the foreground, so it actually looks like we zoom. Uh, you can definitely add some sound effects. We have a sound effects pack, but I have other videos on how to get free sound effects as well. Um, so any like whooshing sound effects would sound great here. That's what I did in the promo. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much how you can use the sample pack. Uh, let me just dive into the full pack a little bit here and show you some of the other cool assets we have. Some of my favorites are these silhouettes. So we have some silhouettes of like people walking by. And these are definitely cool because like this is just like a really quick transition. Like people aren't really going to notice. You just have people walking by, people with hoods on, just all sorts of different looking people. And you can just easily, and these just drag over your footage as well. Um, obviously this wouldn't make sense. This would probably make more sense um, in the city here. I mean, it doesn't even have to be a transition. So I'll show you guys uh, how to mask those out and use those in a bit. Uh, let me just scroll through here. Let me make this a little bit bigger so we can look at all the assets. We have these cool metal doors and these really just drag on and drop. So we could even start with them closed. Just open and close these wooden doors. We have under houses. We have through grass. We have these cool pipes, rocks. Um, some more street stuff. This one has like some trash bags in the foreground going through a vent. There's all sorts of transitions in here. These are some of my favorite in the paid pack um, are these wires. The cool thing about the wires is they stay transparent overhead. So they look super cool. They look like, I don't know, like something's hanging down, like you're going through something. Then we also have these like horizontal wires that work as well. Um, if you're going like left to right. You can even combine assets like I did right there. I mean, I'm slapping that on top. I don't know if it looks the best. Um, and then here's the walls. We have a bunch of cool brick wall transitions, different textures, concrete. We have this elevator transition. We have the wall. We have another wall. I really like this one. This one's pretty cool. Um, then we have this like cool warehouse one. So there's a lot of variations in this one. And then we have the object. So if we come into, so if we come into objects, we have uh, just like simple tree transitions. That was not a tree. And these can be very quick. You can just use these real subtly. And these are all gonna be mask or using crops. So I'll teach you guys how to do that as well. And you can speed these up to your liking. Um, let's go ahead and we have like some trash themed ones. If you're like filming out on the street, obviously there's going to be some trash newspaper action, some dumpsters. We have, uh, tons of street stuff. Cones, gates. And then we have these cool car assets. We have like a police car driving by. Um, and you can use these as transition. So I'm gonna dive into all those. I just kind of want to show you guys what's in the pack. Um, so there's definitely a lot of cool stuff in there. So let's go ahead and check it out. So to use the silhouettes, you're gonna need uh, to transition between two clips. Uh, let's come in and grab some of the silhouettes. Let's find one that we like. I wanna do one with like a crowd maybe. Let's see. This one can definitely work. So we have the people walking by and I'm gonna turn off, I have that transform on here. I'm gonna turn that off. So what we're gonna wanna do is we're just gonna make a cut right here and then we are going to mask. We can pick which person we want to mask. Let's say we just mask with this right person. So we can easily just draw a quick little mask
and we're gonna keyframe that mask path, go to the very beginning, make sure it's off screen, then come to the very end, and we'll move to the end of the frame when it should be full screen. And here we go. Actually, let me undo that. Drag that one up as well. And now what we're gonna wanna do is we're just gonna make sure our mask stays with the silhouette subject and we're not peeking out at all. So I'm just going frame by frame using my arrow keys. We're looking good, we're full screen. So it should be good, we should have the transition. Looks like I made a mistake and I did it on the bottom clip, which is no big deal. So I'm just gonna make a cut on the bottom clip if you made the same mistake I did, uh, it happens. I'm gonna hit uh, Control X and I'm going to come over to Mask Path on this clip. I'm gonna make a mask and I'm going to paste that mask in there and let's hope it works, perfect. So now we should be transitioning into this clip but it looks like we're transitioning the wrong way. So what we want to do is just click invert and then it should transition perfectly fine. So that's how you use the silhouette mask and that pretty much goes the same for um, any of these objects. Basically the line will probably be straighter. So if you do one of these trees transitioning, you would just draw a mask straight up across. That's pretty much all the ways you can use the effects. The last pro tip I would have for using these effects is adding a bit of lumetry to make the foreground a little bit darker. And what I mean by that is I'll go ahead and show you. So I have this clip, let me find it. I used it in the main promo. So we have this backflip right here. Let me go ahead and scale that to frame size. And then let's go ahead and find a foreground transition. Let's probably go and kind of works, but I think we definitely do need a speed ramp a little bit just to make it match that speed that the brick wall is going. Um, so I'm going to create a keyframe and you just hold control click to make one of those keyframes. And we should speed up just like that. And let's slow it down just a little bit. It feels a little too fast. We can actually stretch this out a little bit too. That definitely works, but the problem is this is, there's such a hard line right here that we can actually transition it in a little bit more. So what I would wanna do, let's see if we can, I'm gonna, just make a cut right there. And I'm gonna nest this because sometimes Premiere gets a little bit weird when you start making mask um, with speed ramp clips. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over to color and I'm basically going to make it pretty dark and I'm going to go to back to effects and I'm gonna draw a mask. And let's just draw a nice mask. I'll stretch it out here in a second. And let's make sure it's kind of off here a little bit. And then what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna feather that quite a bit. Um, and we could even make it a little bit darker, maybe just in between. And we're gonna wanna keyframe that mask position. So we're gonna wanna find when we start going underground and we want that mask to be pretty prominent. So we're going to drag this out quite a bit. And there we go. So it's pretty much covered by then. And then right around here, we probably barely want it showing. I deleted that old keyframe. And then we'll just have it completely out. So now when it plays, it just adds a nice little gradient. So what that really does is it's subtle, but I like it a lot more. So that's without, we can see right here, and then that's with. So it almost feels like we're slowly transitioning underground because we have that nice um, feathered dark area. And you can even make it more intense. You can make it darker. You could play around with that if you want.
It's been a while since I've done an editing video. I usually don't like to post these too often unless if I have something really cool to show. And I felt like this pack was really special. We worked on it for probably on and off for about a year now. So it definitely has a lot of quality assets if you guys wanna check it out. If you're watching this around the time it dropped in 2021, this pack actually is on sale right now for Black Friday. We're actually doing all our early Black Friday sales right now. So pretty much the entire store is 35% off. That includes filters, that includes all of our packs. So definitely go check that out. We'll have a few limited sales on actual Black Friday, but these are some of the best sales you're gonna get. So if you guys wanna support Cinepacks, feel free to check out our website. I'd really appreciate it. Also started up the podcast recently. So if you guys haven't been listening to that, I've been posting the highlights on the channel as well. So I interviewed Redwall Sunny. That was a really cool one with Redwall Studios. And I recently interviewed Brian Delamata. We got more interviews coming soon. So you can see the snippets here, but I'm posting them on the Cinepax YouTube channel. And obviously they're on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, wherever else you listen to podcasts, we're there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know what you guys think about this foreground pack. Definitely one of my favorite packs that we've made so far. Really unique, lots of fun to play around with. I'm Tyler Casey with Cinepacks. I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.